inside the airport, evacuations by the U.S. military accelerating. President Biden on ABC News vowing no American will be left behind, even if U.S. troops must remain beyond his August 31st withdrawal deadline. If there's American citizens left, we're going to stay till we get them all out. The U.S. is now relying on the Taliban to allow Americans scattered throughout Afghanistan to get to the airport in Kabul without being attacked or arrested. The State Department issuing this warning. The U.S. government cannot ensure safe passage. And Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin acknowledging the U.S. cannot rescue those who can't get to the airport themselves. We don't have the capability to go out and collect up large uh, numbers of, of, uh, of people. President Biden was asked whether his administration could have handled the withdrawal better. The idea that somehow there's a way to have gotten out without chaos ensuing, I don't know how that happens. But that's not what he said when he initially announced the troop withdrawal in April. We'll not conduct a hasty rush to the exit. We'll do it. We'll do it responsibly, deliberately and safely. The president also bristled when pressed about those unforgettable images, including hundreds of people packed onto a C-17. That was four days ago, five days ago. In fact, it was two days earlier. The Biden administration says U.S. intelligence consistently identified the risk of a rapid collapse. But Joint Chiefs Chairman General Mark Milley revealed those assessments were for weeks or months. There was nothing that I or anyone else saw that indicated a collapse of this army and this government in 11 days. Right now, they're believed to be shy of 15,000 Americans still in Afghanistan. The evacuations picking up in the last 24 hours, but the defense secretary says still nowhere near where they want to be. Among the most powerful pictures, though, from this massive airlift operation, this touching, touching shot, it shows an Afghan child you see, you see covered in an airman's camouflage coat amid so much heartbreak. Some images of hope. Hold on, Savannah. Peter Alexander at the White House. Peter, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.